Hello everyone, Abri here and welcome back to another speed build in The Sims 4. Today we are building Hotel Sulani. Now this is a build, as you can probably tell already from the footage you're watching, this is a build built on a live stream, half of it, and the other half I finished myself. Um, so yeah, it was a really cool build, it's a very very long build. Um, so the live stream was about two and a half hours and I've spent almost double that doing the rest of the build so yeah it's a very long build so you're gonna see a lot of skipping also just because this was built on a live stream there is a lot of me just like interacting with you guys and you know having fun with you guys as well so there's that but yeah there's a lot of skipping throughout this whole build but there's nothing really too major that you uh, are watching here that you guys shouldn't already know and if there is stuff that you miss then come join me in a live stream uh, when I do those and the best way for you to find out when my live streams are is on my discord server there's a link to that server in the description down below also uh, here on the community tab here on YouTube is also a good place for you to be if you want to find out when the next live stream is because I am streaming on Twitch now instead of YouTube because yeah, it's just easier and Twitch is a bit more accommodating when it comes to streamers uh, compared to YouTube. Um, so yeah, also link to my Twitch channel down below. Now that all that good practical info is out of the way, uh, yeah, this is Hotel Solani and again, we build this on a live stream. Uh, we're currently working on the main building. Now, this thing that you see with the big glass front windows here with the roofing pieces is something that Kate Emerald uh, taught me. And she has this amazing YouTube channel, guys, where she does tutorials and just overall little things that you might not know in The Sims that you can do. Uh, she is a really great builder as well, so go check out her channel. I will link to her channel in the description down below. So this is just like a little plug for my fellow Simmers. Uh, she doesn't know that I do that. I don't really uh, talk that much to her. We haven't really had that much contact, but she is a great, uh, great builder. So if you decide to go to her channel from this video, uh, yeah, right now it's write in the comment section that uh, Aubrey brought you there. That would be really fun, wouldn't it? Uh, but yeah, we're working on the front of the build here. And again, if you want to find out how you can make those big front windows with the roofing pieces, go to her channel. It's the easiest way to find out. She has tons of tutorials and they're all really helpful. And she, like, she can do stuff in The Sims that I have never been able to, even though that I have been building in this game for Ever. Um, but yeah, this is the main building, the main building where you are gonna come into the hotel. Now, I chose this lot because it is very secluded. It's like on an island is Lani, but it's on a lot that is kind of secluded to itself. Um, so there's not any other lots around it, really. Um, and I thought that was a really cool idea and a really cool place to actually place a hotel because I thought, okay, so if this was me and I wanted to get away from everything but still enjoy the island life and the luxury and all that stuff this would be the perfect lot so I decided to yeah pick this lot and actually just run with it and uh, we're in the deep, big dark debug mode here guys um, so ever since they released all the uh, live edit updates um, objects as well and ever since they did that, there's just so many items that I want to use. And we're using a ton of them in this build as well. Um, they should be in your game when you actually decide to download this house, if you so please. And we found all of these cars. Initially, I wanted to have these cars in the game kind of like as a... Um, like parking lot type of thing but then i was like okay so that doesn't make any sense seeing that this is a secluded lot so I actually delete them later on when i'm by myself i think um so this took actually a very long time to do but we're kind of getting all this stuff out on the building here so seeing that this is on a secluded island and it is again on an island it's an island hotel i thought it would be really cool just to have 
kind of like an element of overgrown going on not like too crazy much uh, but just enough that you actually know that this is a jungle uh, island hotel but I still wanted to keep tons of modern elements so the main building here is a bit more overgrown than the other parts of the buildings that we're gonna uh, create later on um, but yeah, I just thought it was really cool, also just because the main building is closer to the mountainside that we can see where there is a lot of overgrown stuff as well, so that made sense. And the further we go out to the ocean with the other builds, um, the less overgrown it's gonna get. And uh, yeah, as you can see um, from the footage as well, my... Uh, my notifications and animations and all that stuff actually works with Twitch now. I had such a hard time making that work, also on YouTube as well. And now everything is just working perfectly. So that's really cool. And that's also one of the reasons that I like streaming on Twitch as well, because it is just easier to like stay in touch with you guys. And I really enjoy that. So. Um, that's why I chose to go to Twitch, but I will still continue uploading to YouTube forever because this is my home, this is where I enjoy uploading to, and Twitch is just kind of like another extra way for me to actually get, um, get to interact with you guys. Uh, so yeah, we're working on the outside here, and again, if you've followed me on this channel for however long you've been here you know i'm a, the most like chaotic builder you'll ever see on youtube doing this sims stuff so the deal is i get an idea and then i get another idea and i have to finish that new idea otherwise i tend to forget and then i get another idea and then it just keeps piling on until i have all these ideas and i have to <laughs> try and fit them all in at the same time so I'm all over the place and that's why I like start something for example with the flower bed that we have surrounding the deck here and I start that then I get another idea and I was like I was like okay so we need to have a restaurant over here because that would fit perfectly so I started doing that then that looked cool and I was like okay so we can kind of combine a restaurant with a um, another room area so we have a lot of rooms in this build and i was okay so the restaurant needs to have a nice front they can look out onto the ocean so why not mimic the front house of the um hotel so we tried to do that and then i was like okay we need to decorate this now but i was working on the other house as well so again very very chaotic and all over the place when I'm building but you guys are kind of used to it right now um, yeah by now you should be used to it so it's like yeah wh why why even complain about it that's just the way that I build and if I don't build that way I honestly don't think I would get anything done at all because I would, then I was just like sit with with one thing and I cannot remember what I was doing at the time so yeah so the deal with these big rooms that were currently creating right now so there's eight rooms over on this house or this uh, this block let's call it that we have eight rooms over here and um, then we have let's see three four I believe four or six rooms over on the other side by the restaurant house and um, the deal with that is I wanted to have different looking rooms but again that would take forever. And in hotels like this, most rooms actually do look the same. They have the same design, the same furniture and stuff. So I made three different rooms. Layout is kind of the same. Um, so there's that, but it's different furniture, different uh, color schemes as well. And I made those and I made three different rooms and then I just copy pasted them onto the rooms with the respective sizes that actually fit with that. So it was really easy to just copy paste everything and uh, have it be like the same, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, we have 
four rooms on the other side here I can see and then we have two below that so there's eight plus six rooms in total I mean this is not a workable hotel guys so if you want to use this as a hotel you can kind of like play around it with your own gameplay but it's not actually workable as a hotel I just kind of meant for it to be a hotel you know um, so keep that in mind when you download this that it is set as a residential lot but you know you can you can play around with it however you please I mean that's the beauty of the Sims you can do almost whatever the hell you want so that's good working on the bar area here uh, down by the pool because I thought okay so every good like um, hotel at least the ones that I've been to have like a good bar area by the pool and you also kind of always see that in movies and stuff like that as well in these very 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 luxurious hotels they have these bar areas um, and I thought okay so let's create a bar area by the pool it's gonna look really cool and I'm gonna like have this secluded area we're gonna have seating areas and there's gonna be all these um, chairs and stuff around the pool you're not actually gonna see me place all those chairs because as you can see this video is already 20 minutes long 26 minutes actually so there is a lot of these smaller finer detailing and putting in a furniture that you're not gonna see you are gonna see me create uh, all of the three different types of rooms you're not gonna see uh, me copy paste them in you're not gonna see me do the bathroom either because the bathroom in every single room in this build is the same uh, that is one thing I know to be uh, almost a standard at hotels is that you know the bar or like the bathroom areas are almost always the same and I've worked at hotels uh, so I kind of know how the deal is and and what they kind of do so I kind of copy pasted that throughout the whole thing and uh, yeah here I'm just trying to make make everything cohesive I still wanted to have some hanging plants and some overgrown stuff going on around the place again not too much not so much as the main building but just enough that it would actually look cohesive and uh, nice looking so yeah um, again we have tons of rooms here um, and I'm, I'm actually kind of excited for you guys to see them because I tried to make the color scheme different enough that the rooms would seem different but still kind of uh, kind of the same kind of like the same style if that makes sense so the style would be the same but each room would feel different because of the color schemes that's kind of like the thing I was going for um, so I hope that's translated well into into the build. Uh, I knew I wanted to have a big staircase in the back here because we are on an island and this is right down to the beach so that would I mean that just translates perfectly doesn't it uh, you being able to go down to the beach with your sim and hang out go into the ocean because we can do that now with the island living uh, expansion pack god there's so many packs in the sims like I'm having a very hard time actually keeping track of game packs stuff packs expansion packs um, oh yeah somebody uh, asked me and people keep asking me which is fine you can ask me all the questions you want but uh, if I have all the stuff packs and all the like all packs in general uh, and the answer to that is no I don't I don't have all the stuff packs I do have all the game packs and expansion packs because I feel like that is where I get the most value for my money but I do not have all the stuff packs um, and the reason for that is I honestly don't want to spend my money on something that I just don't see there being a value in if that makes sense 
and I honestly don't see a lot of value in the stuff packs for The Sims 4 compared to the stuff packs that we have in previous Sims games like The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 where you got a lot more value for your money. Um, so I don't have all the stuff packs. Am I gonna, am I gonna get the, um, what is it called, Moschino uh, stuff packs? Probably because I do like a lot of the furniture that came with that and all of the funky patterns and, and the, just the style of it. I really like that. So I'm probably gonna get that. And um, yeah, I think it, it looks like a really cool stuff pack. But again, I don't have all the stuff packs. So I don't believe that you have to have all packs in The Sims um, for it to be a complete game. Uh, I don't. And I honestly still enjoy my game very much. And I think that I have... You know the stuff that I need. Uh, what I I've, okay, so I've honestly thought about using CC a lot lately um, because there is a lot of stuff in that. For example, like IKEA stuff that I really want um, because I think it looks so cool. And somebody, and also just the amount of detail that they can put into these uh, CC objects is insane. I mean, w good job. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I don't have all the uh, stuff packed, so that's the short answer to that. This is one of the rooms that we just created. This is one of the medium-sized rooms. Um, and this is the biggest room size that we're creating right now. So it's actually one tile wider, but it just looks so much bigger than the other one. And again, we're working with a lot of the same layout for all three rooms here but I tried to keep the color schemes different enough so that each room would seem um, like its own thing. And in here we're working with the um, yellow-blue combo, which works very well, especially in The Sims, because a lot of these items are either white, yellow, or has this bluish turquoise tint to it. So I always find that it's very easy to color match stuff with these three colors, especially since we don't have a color wheel. So um, yeah, I work with that color in here and I thought it looked really cool. I threw in, seeing that we have a little more space here, I threw in a couch and a like coffee table area as well, seeing that this is the bigger room size. Uh, maybe it's actually two squares or white. Um, wider than the other one but again these two rooms are going to be copy pasted around uh, this lot and this housing over here so it's going to be the same and you can kind of see that I already copy pasted one of them this is the third room uh, design which is over by the other um, part of the build over by the restaurant area and uh, I worked with the opposite uh, color scheme in here. So we have the accent turquoise, but a lot of yellow and gray uh, White tones over here, which I also again think is very easy to work with because you kind of know that things work and um, It's gonna look good Almost no matter what you do uh, you can make this work and uh, Seeing that this is the smallest of the rooms. We actually had a little less space in here uh, to place items, but I still made it work and I tried to keep it as modern looking as possible seeing that this is a modern hotel as well. Let's go into the um, Restaurant area here. So the first thing I wanted to do was to create this huge bar area uh, I don't know why but I when I think of a classy restaurant for me it has like this huge bar area that you can see where you can see the bar behind it and all like the uh, wine bottles and stuff like that and I come from the restaurant industry so I kind of have a very good idea of how uh, stuff should look for it to actually be a functional restaurant um, so going into the kitchen here I try to make it look as functional as possible but still keeping the like the gameplay elements um, somewhat Fun, so it wouldn't be too hyper realistic because that's not fun to play either um, But yeah, the kitchen is nothing too special I just kind of threw in what I knew would go in there. Also, we just had, don't have a lot of um, Industrial restaurant kitchen items to actually throw in there 
Uh, seeing that I am a chef, that's something I actually kind of do miss in this game, especially when the Dine Out, dine out uh, game pack came out. Um, I was very excited to, to get to play around with restaurants, but you know, I don't know what it is about The Sims 4, but that part and aspect of the game seems to be very broken. And just not only in, in Dine Out, but also in like the active careers. Uh, with, for example, get to work, where if you're a doctor, you can just stand around for hours waiting for the other doctors in the place to actually do something. When you're running around like a crazy person trying to heal and, and medicate all of these sick patients because the other doctors don't actually do anything because they need to take a coffee break for the whole freaking workday. So the active careers is not that good and especially not in the dine out thing here. You can wait around like so many hours for food to actually come to your table. Um, so yeah, there's that. And the last build that we're actually working on here uh, is the main entrance here. So when you're right, when you're right, right when you walk into the... Um, to the hotel here I wanted to have a little seating area just to kind of make it real nice for some reason the uh, roofing piece disappeared here I don't know why but you know we we just put it back in and put in the plants again and that's fine and I deleted the flooring piece in in this build as well so we had this very high ceiling which I thought just looked super classy and I put in all of these different heights of um, what is it called? Lamps from the ceiling going down to the big check-in area here. So I have like a double check-in area. I thought that was a cool idea as well. And I tried to keep things very, very clean lined in here. So this is a classy hotel and I wanted to have clean lines. So we have this big circular rock in here where we put chairs around the place, kind of like a waiting area as well. And I thought it looked super classy. I don't know why, I just think, I mean, this check-in area looks very, very good in my opinion. I mean, I'm super happy about it. On the other side of it, I was thinking about putting in a bar area, but I actually decided to, to put in uh, just like a piano area instead and and some seating areas and we also put in some bookshelves on either side as well and that's kind of it for this check-in area there's nothing too special I just wanted it to be like a nice calming area when people check in now I asked on my previous videos if you guys uh, preferred when I actually did my voiceover over these video tours by the end of the video and uh, it seemed like uh, people actually enjoy me talking about what we have done here so we're gonna keep doing that and um, yeah this is the entrance here I'm in love with how this turned out especially with the big windows bringing on in all of this natural lighting and it kind of makes it feel like it's open like it's not an enclosed room which I really love here we have the biggest of the uh, rooms that you can rent this is the um, the one with the turquoise and yellow color scheme and then we should go into the medium sized room this is actually my favorite room I I don't know why I just like the muted colors in here with just a splash of um, of yellow in there just to kind of break things up and uh, seeing from the other side where you can kind of see the entrance as well. And again, all the room layouts in these rooms are kind of the same, um, just to kind of keep things cohesive, but the color scheme is different. This is the smallest of the rooms. Remember, if you want to get this build, it is on the gallery right now. So you can search my, search my origin ID, which is Aubrey, in the gallery, and you should be able to find every single thing that I've done. Or you can follow the link in the description down below to the direct download from the browser page of the gallery. And uh, while you're down there, why not go check out all my social media stuff, like Discord, for example, where again, you can come hang out, there's tons of different channels on my server for Simspiration, just general hanging out with other peeps who enjoy Sims like you do. And uh, that's also when 
where you can find streaming info of when I'm streaming and stuff like that, new videos, what I'm currently working on, and small little teases uh, to what's to come on the channel here. Um, and yeah, that being said, uh, as we take a look at the last of the outside where we have all of the furniture, I just wanna say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave it a big like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And um, yeah, again, I really hope you enjoyed this video and there's nothing else for me to say other than have a truly fantastic day, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next time. Bye.